Hi everybody, hope you're well. So let's get straight to it. These are my Sony XM3 noise cancelling earbuds. I've had them now for about two and a half years, paid £190 for them from Amazon UK. And when I purchased them, the battery life was between six to eight hours. Like all these battery operated devices over a period of time, the battery life does reduce. And currently, two and a half years later, we're down to about 45 minutes. So basically, they're not very usable. So rather than throw them away and buy a new set of XM3s, and they're actually still advertised on the Sony website for about £100, or indeed the XM4s, which are the updated versions of these, for £200, I thought I'd try and save a little bit of money. I am a little bit of a skin flint, and basically I've paid, and I've actually already put new batteries in here, and they work fine, by the way. I thought I'd fork out £30 for two new Varta rechargeable batteries, uh, and I got those batteries from eBay. There is a link in the description below from the eBay seller, and I've had no issue with these batteries. So I thought I'd just show you folks out there, rather than bin these, because we do live in a throwaway society, so rather than bin them, it's a five minute job to put new Varta batteries inside these and extend the life of these quite, quite nice Sony XM3 noise cancelling earbuds. So if that's something you're interested, it is a five minute job. Stick around and I'll show you how to do it next. So here we go then, what do we need? We need a star headed small screwdriver. If you've ever replaced your mobile phone case or screen, then sometimes in those kits you get these blue picks, shall we call it? So I've got two of those. And also in those kits you get one of these uh, plastic pry tools. That's gonna to be used to uh, remove the battery. And these picks, we're just gonna use those to uh, insert between the top cover and the main body of the earbud just to prise that top cover off and basically I'm using that so you're not going to cause any damage to the earbud itself. Last resort, a couple of things you can use if you've got a strong thumbnail which you can insert in the gap here then you can use that to pry that cover off and if you've got no uh, nails at all then you can use a thin bladed uh, flat bladed screwdriver but you are potentially gonna cause some damage, so I wouldn't recommend that. But if you've got nothing else, then that may be uh, your only means of just prying this top cover off of the earbud to give you access to the battery. So let's remove this cover then. So basically, folks, what we're trying to achieve is to remove this top cover off to give us access to two small screws, which are, I don't know if you can see them, which are under here. Hence the reason we need to use a small star shaped screwdriver. And then the battery sits under here. Then we just peel this section back and then we can remove the battery. So that's what we are trying to do in removing this top cover here to give access to that. So I'll show you how we do it. And I'll, I'll let this run real time actually. So here's the earbud. Again, I've already uh, put the new batteries in there. So if you've got a strong thumbnail, you can try and run your thumbnail in the joint here and prise it off. I know this one's gonna come off fairly easily actually, um, but using the pick tool, you can put the thin end in here. It's a shame they don't have a, a recess so you can put something in there and then just try and pry it out. So if you can get your thumbnail in there to start it and then insert the pick and then basically all you're trying to do is work your way around all the way around to then allow you to remove the top cover. Again there'll come a point where you may just be able to pull it off. It might be a little bit uh, tricky to start with because you've got some sticky tape on the top here so that will just offer a little bit of a dis resistance but it will come off just take your time and try not to snap anything so there we go there we go we've got access to the top of the earbud i can put that pick away now so what we need to do now do is remove two small screws using your small screwdriver and try not to lose the screws and try not to thread uh, thread where the heads away as you take them out because that won't be very good I don't know if that's the right size again I might have to use a smaller screwdriver so that one's not small enough so I'm just going to go over to my screwdriver kit 
and see if I've got a, another screwdriver. Right, okay, so I'm back with a slightly bigger one actually. There we go. And that should come out. So if it doesn't come out first, change your tools and they're magnetized so the screw come out. So it's quite a small screw. So I've just used a slightly, slightly bigger star headed screwdriver and then just remove the second one. And that'll come out. Again, I'm doing this real time. I've already put the new batteries in, but I'm just showing you folks that it's a fairly not easy, yeah, it's a fairly easy job to do in reality. So there's the two little screws and there's the screwdriver used. So what you need to be careful now of is the, let's get that plastic pick. In here, this is a, a ribbon for um, sending data from the, the, the lower part of the device to the top part. So that's sort of the hinge and you, you don't want to damage that otherwise you can go and spend another hundred pounds on a new set of earbuds or even more money if you want to get the xm4s so basically we can just pull this away i'll try and do it as best i can pull it away and then you can see underneath you've got the circuit board i call it a circuit board all the, the bits and bobs and then the battery is sat uh, here so i'm just going to pop that down and we'll just talk about the battery. So these are the old batches that I've taken out. And when I got the batteries, I made the schoolboy error of not removing all the tape. So you can see there's yellow tape that I've put on it. And when I put the battery into the earbud, that way down, obviously, because the tape was still on it. And when I uh, started it up, uh, there was no power in it, obviously, because I'd left the tape on. So just make sure you remove all the tape from the battery and you won't make that schoolboy error like I did. So under the battery here, uh, there's a little bit of, um, like a little bit sealant for want of a better word. So obviously uh, there's still a little bit, well there is power in this one because it's a, a fully charged battery, but your battery may still have some battery charge in it. Um, what I would suggest you do, just be very careful of the ribbon. You don't want to damage the ribbon is either try and use your thumb to just prise the battery up and away. And if that's not gonna work, then you can use the prying tool uh, that I got from my iPhone screen replacement kit. But you've gotta be so careful of this ribbon here, folks. So you can just use that, to just get the battery going. Basically, you're just going to push it. So take a, a good grip with your thumb and forefinger and just push the battery up and away. There we go. There it goes. So using this plastic, you're not going to short circuit anything. A worst case scenario, if, you've, if you haven't got anything, yeah, use a bit of metal, use a screwdriver. Um, but you may see a, a few little sparks, um, but you shouldn't, well, you may damage something. But yeah, use the plastic tool. And then basically that battery has now come away. And I don't know if you can see uh, on the underside here, but there is a little bit of um, plastic, like silicone, I don't know what you want to call it, under there. If this uh, metal plate pops out, it only goes in one way. And just come back to the video for reference. So it goes in, it goes in a little recess. In fact, I can take it out for you so you know what we're talking about so let's see if I can take that out again doing this real time so you can see my errors so that only goes in one way try not to in fact I won't pull that out because the plastic um, silicone for want of a better word is actually still in the bottom here and so that's going to stop it coming out so I'll leave that in there so uh, your new battery, making sure there's no yellow tape on the battery, and it goes in uh, Varta uh, name side down, so like this. Give it a good press home. Again, just be careful not to slip and damage the ribbon. So there we go, that battery's in now, and then we just push it closed. There we go, don't force it, just push it closed. 
So I'm happy with that. And then we get the two little screws. Uh, which screwdriver do you use? I use the bigger one of the two. So there we go, screwdriver. That's going to go in. Again, I'm trying to video this and do it and talk at the same time. So there's the screw. It is magnetised. Ah, fiddy little chap. And then we are just going to screw it home. Don't have to go mad with it, just enough for it to bite. That's the first one in. Second one. I haven't got a stopwatch running on this one, but it is about a five minute job. Maybe a bit more. Maybe I was being conservative with the time. But yeah, just take your time, folks. Unless you want to spend more money on a new set of earbuds. Uh, come on. Right, and there goes the second one. So, yeah, just till you feel it bite and you're happy you're all the way home. So I'm happy with that one. I'll just check the other one as well. Yeah. So I'm happy with that screwdriver. We've replaced the battery. And all it remains to do is to put the top cover back on. There might be a little bit of, I don't know, sealant or something around here, but I don't think it's a waterproof jobby. And then basically you can see that there's the high part here and there's the cover and then the high part sits on there and basically it's a, a push down job equally all the way around and there we go and that is a new battery in your Sony XM3 earbud so what we'll do next is I'll show you how to basically we do a, a, a reset on them so what we're going to do now is a reset of the earbuds so open the case they're still being charged at the moment hence the two lights are showing red so just on the touch center part of the earbud just press and hold and then you'll see the light will start to flash very shortly about 15 seconds and then you're waiting for that red light to disappear there's the flash so it's going through whatever it goes through just to reset itself and it goes a little bit faster and then it will eventually disappear and that's that one reset and we do exactly the same for the other one as well and there we go the red lights come back on that means it's it's um charging itself now and if you've already um paired it to a phone device etc even with the reset that will not uh, drop that already paired device so no issues there so nearly finished folks just got to make sure you're running the latest software for your sony earbuds so once they've been charged take them out of the case fire up your iphone make sure they're connected via bluetooth Go to the Sony Connect app, which controls the settings on the earbuds, and then just tap on the top right hand corner and then scroll down and it will tell you exactly what software you are running. Currently, the latest version as of uh, March 2022 is 3.1.2, I think it is. So that's the latest software. Just follow the on-screen instructions to update it to the latest software. What you will find though, when you do update to the latest software is the battery remaining uh, indicator on your phone will maybe not be showing the correct um, percentage of battery left it might just be stuck at 100 percent that's quite normal the instructions do say that after a software update this will happen until you've uh, discharged recharged recharged discharged recharged a couple of times and then everything kicks back in and syncs together and then the battery indicator on your phone per left and right earbud will actually show the correct discharge um, and the correct battery life that is left. So don't worry if it's stuck 100%, it should start to drop down uh, within about two or three uh, discharges and recharges. And the only thing left for me to say is, um, before I put the new batteries in, and I've been running them for about two days now, I was getting between 45 and 50 minutes. Now I'm getting between four and a half and five hours or thereabouts. These are very uh, awkward um, uh, times to to try and work out uh, basically the manual does does say that you should be getting between six hours with the uh, noise reduction etc switched on and maybe eight hours maximum with it switched off well i've got my two german shepherds when i'm walking i've got the equalizer on and then i've also got the either the uh, noise cancelling on or the uh, wind reduction on so the filters are working quite hard so i'm getting between uh, four and a half 
and uh, over five hours so I'm more than happy with that so it's a very quick five minute fix for each of the buds if it's been of some use to yourself please give us a like and a thumbs up that'd be very much appreciated if not make any comments if I've got anything wrong uh, please put them in the comment section down below so other people can learn by any mistakes that I've made in this presentation of the video other than that folks hope you liked it hope it's been of some benefit to yourself and as ever be happy and stay safe